Our team constantly strengthens the Verizon Wireless Network. Monitoring network usage. Connection quality. Network reliability. Do you want to know why Verizon Wireless is such an advanced network? You're looking, You're looking at, at it. it. Welcome to Tech 101. I'm Eric Hesselbell, senior technology writer here at businessweek.com. Last week we talked about GPS navigation. We rented a car today. We're outside the New York City Public Library in Manhattan. And we're going to talk about navigating a little bit with your phone. Now, uh, we've got a couple of phones here. Uh, this one is a Verizon phone and um, uses a, a service called uh, VZ Navigator that you can get from, uh, from Verizon. This is a Sprint phone. Uh, you can get uh, a service called Telenav. And uh, they'll both add about 10 bucks to your subscription bill. And if you're like an occasional user of GPS and need to navigate occasionally, or maybe just when you're on the road or something like that, this could be a really good option. Instead of having to spend uh, three, four, five hundred dollars on a dedicated navigation system like the ones that we showed you last week. So you get a pretty good look here. In fact, uh, we've got it navigated as though we're driving right now uh, from uh, where we are to. Uh, Business Week offices up at Avenue of the Americas. And uh, this one you can see, we've got a map showing where we are. I don't have this one navigating at the moment. Uh, but uh, get an idea of what the map looks like. Also, I can show you, uh, this one can show you live traffic. And um, let me zoom out a little bit so you can get an idea. Now, the way these work is that they have GPS chipsets inside them. Usually, if you get uh, for U.S. carriers anyway, CDMA carriers like uh, Sprint or uh, Verizon, uh, they get phones that have GPS chipsets inside them more often than not. Um, now sometimes, here we are, you see the, uh, the Manhattan map there, and if you're lucky, you should be able to see some of the traffic report incidents right there. So. Sprint and Verizon, generally you get GPS chipsets inside your phone. As I explained last week, the GPS signals come from satellites that are about 20,000 miles up in orbit. And uh, so it's basically your tax money at work. Now for phones that don't have a GPS chipset inside them, you might be asked to use a device like this. This is a Telenav uh, GPS receiver. And what you'll do is you'll connect your phone to this via Bluetooth. I happen to use this one with my Blackberry, which doesn't have a GPS chipset inside it. So this picks up the GPS signals shares it with your phone. So depending on your phone, if you want to use it for navigation, you may, re may be required to use something like this as well. This will set you back about $100. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk back to our offices uh, up in Rockefeller Center and uh, let the phones update as we walk. You know, it'll be like pretending we have a car since we don't have a car today. Uh, but uh, you get an idea of what it's like. These are useful for walking and or driving. So as long as you, uh, there's, they both have settings for when you're in a car, when you're not in a car. So we're gonna walk, come with us. So we're walking along and it's telling us to make a left up here. Uh, as we walk our way up Fifth Avenue, it wants us to make a left turn here. So I think we're gonna do that here momentarily. So let's say you're driving along and it gives you a, a voice prompt and you didn't quite get it, you need to hear it again, you can make it repeat. Turn right on 6th Avenue towards your destination. Yep, so we're going to turn right on 6th Avenue here in a minute. Here we are, we're back in the office, having navigated from the New York Public Library on foot, although we were kind of pretending like we were driving. You can see this one has us back in the office. This one is showing our location. Uh, so check with your service provider if this sort of thing is interesting to you. Most service providers will offer you some kind of a navigation deal, uh, usually for about 10 bucks a month, sometimes more, sometimes less. It really depends on the uh, provider. And uh, sometimes you'll have to use, like I said before, the external navigation device, but that's about it. It's a great way to at least try navigation. If you need it once in a while, not sure if it's of any benefit to you. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's really up to you. That wraps it up for this week's Tech 101. Remember to keep your questions coming. The address is tech101 at businessweek.com. And like I always say, technology should be easy. When it's not, it's not your fault. We'll see you next week. 
Our team constantly strengthens the Verizon wireless network. Monitoring network usage. Connection quality. Network reliability. Do you want to know why Verizon Wireless is such an advanced network? They're looking, They're looking at it. At it.